This lesson is going to cover queries that include pivots in Google Sheets. Pivots allow you to display your query results in a grid style format similar to what a pivot table does. So in this example, we have loan detail information and you can see in column C, we have loan type categories. In column D, we have branch location categories. And we'd like to summarize by both of these two sets of categories, but we'd like to flip the loan type category in our query results so that these category labels are our column headers. So that's where we can use the pivot option in our query. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a new sheet. That is where our query and its results will live. So I'm going to rename this results. And up near the top, I'm going to insert our query function. Our first input is our data input. That is the data we want to query off of. That is going to be our loan detail back on the first tab. So I'm going to go back there. I'm going to click in this top left cell. I'm going to hit control shift right arrow and then control shift down arrow. That will select everything. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that down. Our next input is our query input. That's where we specify keywords and parameters of what we want to pull back in our query. This needs to be enclosed in double quotes and we'll begin with the keyword select. For now I'm just going to input select star. That will pull back this entire data set in our results tab and once we've input this entire function we'll go back and actually specify some groupings and pivot parameters that we'd like to see reflected in our query. So our final input is the headers input. That's how many rows of headers do we have in our data set? Well, we only have one. So I'll input that, hit enter, and you can see on our results tab now, our query pulls back the entire data set because we said select star. Well, the first thing I want to do is copy our query statement. I'm going to paste it up in this first cell here and change that part of our query function to just reflect the cell reference A1 so that we can work out of this cell and not have to go back into our query function again. So we want the loan type categories to be our column headers and we want branch location categories to be our row headers and we want to sum based on the original loan amount. So we're going to go into our select statement. We want to pull back column D because that will be a row label. We want to sum column E because that contains our loan totals. Since we are summing and therefore grouping or categorizing by our branch locations, we need to include the key words group by for any non-numeric column since we're summing column E. So we want to group by column D and finally we want to pivot on column C because we want the, the loan type categories to become our column headers. So hit enter and you can see now we have the location categories as our row labels, the loan type categories as our column headers. If we wanted to switch this around, we could very easily. All we have to do is just swap out our rows and columns. And you can see now we just did the exact opposite. One other thing I would like to do is if we go back to our detail tab, you can see this last column here, we have disbursement date. And what I'd like to do is pivot on the year in which it was dispersed. So we would insert a pivot on the disbursement year along with a year function to just pull back the year of all these disbursement dates. So. I'm going to go back into our query statement. This time we're going to group our row labels by D and C. And we're going to pivot on that last column, column I, and we need to insert it 
within the year function. So you can see now, once I format this, we have our location row label, our loan type row label, and then our year dispersed column labels.